Cran Bailey here from Hands R Us Stage Production Group, LLC. I have over 15 years of experience in stage production, and I want to tell you a little bit about stage production and how everything works. Myself, at the moment, I do tour management, but I haven't always did tour management. I work for several artists. I do road management for Martian Brochures. I do uh, production management for Joe, currently the tour manager for Straight Jokes No Chaser Tour, which is Mike Epps, Cedric Entertainer, Earthquake, DC Young Fly, DL Hewley. Um, I've been production manager for several shows, uh, Nas and Erica Badu. Um, I've worked with uh, Mary J. Blige, Ja Rule, uh, Ashante, Janae Aiko, to name a few, um, Busta Rhymes, uh, a host of other people. Uh, the list goes on and on. To get into this industry, I suggest everyone start at a base level so that you can really grab hold to how the mechanics of stage production works. Uh, stage hand is a great way to get into the industry uh, because for the simple fact that the stage hand is the first person on the scene uh, when it comes down to stage production that makes everything happen. Without the stage hands, there is no production. They are the people who orchestrate uh, load in, set up. They also work the show and they do loadout, which is getting all of the moving parts out the door. Uh, let's see. Doing stage hand work will get you ready for your next level, which will be sound engineering. Uh, sound engineering uh, can break down to three different uh, positions, which will be front of house, which is a person that who sits in the house with the audience, who controls the sound system that the audience listens to. And you have monitor world. Monitor world is the person who lets the uh, artists hear themselves so that they can get a great performance and they can hear what they sound like to the audience. And you also have the stage uh, tech, who is the person who is Kind of like the liaison in between front of house engineer and the modern engineer, but they will patch the stage, which is basically putting the mics, placing them on the different instruments and um, placing monitors the way they need to be. Monitors being speakers where the artists can actually hear themselves and musicians can hear themselves so that the audience can get a great performance. Um, you can also uh, become a lighting designer. A lighting designer is the person who sits in the crowd, who will uh, make the lights uh, look good for the audience to give a good visual show. Uh, then you also have the uh, V1, which is the video person who controls the different, um, what it would be video from a LED wall, or it could also be video from iMac, which is basically the projector screens that will show you the artist on the stage live during their performance so that the people who are in the back who can't really see the, the uh, artist up front, they can actually get an experience of the artist on a uh, magnified uh, visual. Uh, let's see, putting one, uh, what I would suggest for people to look at every person on the stage, and this goes for every single person on the stage. Um, one good thing to keep in mind, first and foremost, is safety. With being in our field, safety comes first. It can be a very dangerous situation. Uh, when you step into the building, there are a lot of moving parts. You have riggers who are flying out also known as hanging the components uh, to the sound system, um, to the video, and for lighting that hangs above, and sometimes um, the audience, and sometimes the artists. So they are very important people uh, above you that uh, have to be trained to rig these different components so that when the performance is going on, going on, um, this stuff doesn't come down to the ground. Uh, there's a lot that comes along with that. 
So uh, safety first. Now, with uh, the engineers and the stage chance that work the show, there's one thing that I always look at, and you'll hear me say, uh, if you have conversations with me, I always use firefight or being thrown into the fire. When it comes to stage production, it's not really that hard. It's pretty simple. Um, if the show goes well, of course, a baby can run the show because the shows pretty much run themselves when they go well. But when the firefighter part comes in, and that's how I always look at it, I don't judge a person by them being able to do a show that's going well. You get your stars and your stripes when you do a show when everything, all you know what, breaks loose. So basically, being a good stage person has everything to do with being able to put the fire out. When something goes wrong, you have to know when and where to be. First and foremost, paying attention. If you're over here enjoying the show and a cymbal's falling off the drummer, um, as a stage manager, as a production manager, somebody has to, as a backline tech, let's not forget backline. Backline is the person who manages all the instruments on the stage that doesn't have anything to do with lighting, sound, or video. Everything else is uh, in the backline department, which will be uh, any type of uh, furniture, uh, which will be like stools and, and uh, different keyboard stands things of that such, and the instruments that actually are in place for the, for the, uh, the um, musicians. So yeah, I would say really concentrate on being a person who can put the fire out, and that's what makes a good stage person. Tip number one. Tip number one, coming into the industry as a stage hand. Get your tools. No man or woman step into the stage is better than the tools that they have to make and get the job done. You got to have the proper tools. Get you a C wrench so that you can you do your lighting, get you a leatherman so that you can do the things that need to be done on the stage as well. Also, get you some gloves. Gotta protect those hands. Tip number two. Follow the people who know what's going on. You gotta find somebody to shadow. Choose somebody that will allow you to shadow them and teach you proper stage etiquette. Stage etiquette is knowing where to be and where not to be. When you learn stage etiquette, it's everything. Tip number three. Keep personal business in your personal. When you're on that stage, be ready to go with what's going on on that stage. Stay attentive to what's in front of you. Don't pay attention to what's going on in back of house. Don't pay attention to what's going on in the side of house. That stage is where your attention should be at. Pay attention to the stage the stage will pay attention to you and treat you right. How to dress. Of course, we all know that you have to have your show blacks. You show up in a white t-shirt, it might end up black before the end of the night anyway. So we all know why we wear our blacks. For one, you don't want to get dirty and look dirty. For two, when you're on a stage moving around, the audience should not know that you're on that stage. You should blend right in with the rest of what's going on. So we always wear what we call our show blacks. Footing, get you a nice pair of steel toes if need be. Some people are not comfortable with steel toes. You do not. I wanna thank Core Music Foundation for inviting me out to give you all some insight on stage production. Uh, coming into an in, into this industry as a stagehand and how to excel from there. My name is Cran Bailey from Hands R Us Stage Production Group. I uh, want to tell you all that keep your head focused in the game 
and to get around like-minded people, uh, surround yourself with people that are experienced enough to teach you some things and get active. Be safe. <laughs>